Hello every pony and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D episode number 3. As always, I am Serene Inc and accompanying me in our Zelda adventure is I'm nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Sadia. <laughs> Uh, so, in the last episode, we met the Princess of Destiny and got an empty bottle. And in this episode, we're going to be climbing Death Mountain. But before we can do that, as the guard here has promptly reminded me, we need to get the Hylian Shield. And but you can get it for free, as most of us already know. <laughs> I was just actually going to say, but I'm not going to go to the bazaar like he says to. I'm going to go get it for free. Even though That's I what I was to, yeah. I'm gonna go get it for free. Cause everyone likes free stuff. <laughs> I just have to remember. Can I do this during the day, or did I have? To, did I have to be? Night? I think I. Yeah, I think you have to wait because that kid would be like, "I'm Tom Dampin." Ah. <laughs> well, no, that's all right. We can go get the sun song, and then I'll make it night, and then we can get the Hylian shield. That works. Oh yeah, this is right. So it looks like we're taking a detour in this episode before <laughs> we get to our main destination. Right. Slight uh, detour that I completely forgot about. Two detours, in fact. One that I realized before the episode started. One that I realized just now. Uh, I hate this new fangled. I think it's easier playing the songs in this game because you actually can see the notes in front of you. Yeah, well, I mean, like... If I open up the thing, I like it. It's just, I have all of the, like, you know, N64 version, like, memorized. So it's like, um, in, you know, yeah. I used to left up right, not X, uh, X A Y, uh, which is all completely I, different. I tend to forget, so I, like, write, the, I write it down. And then when the 3D version, I was like, holy crap, I actually can play this with the thing in front of me. It was amazing. Right. So that actually helped me a lot because I don't I don't memorize the songs as much as most players do. Yeah. Except for Zelda songs, Zelda songs you need to remember. Zelda Lullaby is really the only one that you use regularly in the game, so it's the only one that you really have to memorize. Oops, that was not L targeting that. Pew. Ta-da! Yay! Oh yay, rupees! <laughs> yay! I already have 99 rupees. That's totally and now we get to it. see the redeads! Yep. In 3D! Okay, no. And the redeads have gotten quite a major design overhaul since the N64 version. So does the moon in Majora's Mask. Magic! Yep. The rising sun will eventually set, newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. Interesting poem, except that it doesn't work. <laughs> There's no rhyme in it. Y-R-A! Y-R-A! I think the song got a bit of a remix in there. Probably. A little bit. It doesn't sound like <clears throat> the original version. Yeah. Well, I mean, all the music in the game got remixed for the 3DS. Well, it's not re they're not reusing the exact tracks from before, so... Give peaceful rest to the dead with the sun song. Interestingly enough, you could use the Sun Song here on the Redead to freeze them. It's just really difficult to do that because you have to get really, really close to them. And, I mean, it's only so worth doing because it just freezes them. But if it's you attack so. them, yeah. It, well, actually, I think they must have fixed that and whatever. But if you attack them, then they unfreeze, and so it becomes completely pointless to even bother using 
if you plan to actually fight them. <laughs> nah, I think it's kind of useful. I mean, they'll, they won't freeze you. I mean, you'll be too busy attacking them. Yeah. Well, I suppose they won't immediately freeze you, which is a benefit, but... Okay, yeah, you can go get the shield now. Yeah. I just have to figure out... I just have to stop and remember... Which one you told me. Is... You told me it was the one with the flowers on it. Yeah, I have to stop and find the one with the flowers on it. <laughs> I guess I remember you told me that one time. <laughs> yeah, it is the one with the flowers on it, which makes it easy. But the flowers look completely different in the 3DS version, so I can never seem to find them when I'm playing the 3DS version. <laughs> All right, we got ourselves a Hylian shield, or at least we will here in. Two seconds. Da, 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 da. Gear, Hylian shield. How we can traverse the volcano that is Death Mountain. And once again, I'm not really going for 100%, so I'm not going to be bothering with doing the Dompe uh, piece of heart challenge thing. I will be attempting to at least get the giant's wallet, because I usually do, but beyond that I will not likely be getting, you know, I, will, I likely won't be collecting the majority of the gold skulltulas or anything of that nature. Probably just enough to get me. Um, at least the next size wallet, if not the giant's wallet. Mm -hmm. Because curve one hundred percent, we're doing this the the main story way. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. Amy, this isn't a a full one hundred percent playthrough or anything. This is just a, a, a let's play of Ocarina of Time three D. You know. Well, technically, let's plays do do everything they can. Well, not all. Of them I'm just do. saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Not saying you have to do it like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Not all Let's Plays do, but yeah, a lot of them usually do. They're more like Zack Scott Games, who does j just the storyline, basically. Like, when I watched his Hyrule Warriors playthrough, um, he just basically did the storyline of it, and then that was it for his playthrough of it. He didn't go back and do all the secret missions and stuff like that. He just did the main I, plot. I actually seen a little bit of it on Twitch recently. It looks like fun, but eh, it doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> it looks pretty interesting, and if I ever get a Wii U, I plan on getting it and doing a series on it. But yeah, it looks like fun though. I wouldn't mind getting it. Yeah, that requires me to get a Wii U. <laughs> and me too, because I'm one of the people, well, I'm one of the probably few people who don't have a Wii U, besides Emily. Yeah. I mean, Serene. No, you go on. Eh. I just forget that you're, you're, you name your phone Serene, not Emily. Yeah. So. Uh, it's more like, it's like, Serene is like my, uh, my pen name as well, I use that for my stories. So... It's, you could say, call it a persona, but, eh. Oh, Navi, I already know where I'm going. <laughs> Goron City. Link gets to explore a brand new city besides Market. Wee! Ow, that hurt. Link, why is your leg still fine? Let's go open the doorway to Darunia. And I just remember that dance scene's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it won't oh, be for a little while. I, have I know, but still, I just first. remember that scene. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like talk to Darunia yet. I'm just gonna come in here and grab some fire and leave. Because there's no point in talking to him until you get Saria's song. And I can't get Saria's song until I have fire. 
Okay, I need to carry the fire from down here all the way up to the next floor so that I can light the bomb flowers. Problem is, I always get lost in this place. So I tend to forget where I'm going. But hey, I didn't forget where I'm going this time. Oh, they changed that. In the Ocarina of Time 3D, or in the N64 version, you can walk behind these. Oh, because I can on that one. Whatever's... Wait, what? The... The torches here. Yeah. Us usually in the N64 version, I light these torches by walking behind this torch here. But you can't do that uh, in the 3DS version, apparently. Oh, uh, okay. What the... What? Wow, that didn't... That didn't work! <laughs> it... Yeah, it must have been... Because I wasn't there, so it didn't load it. I'm guessing there you that go. it, I it, think it, should it work unloaded now. the area. There we go. There we go. The 3DS does the same thing as the N64 version did, where if it's off the screen, it unloads it. It helps optimize it, so it makes sense. Yay, the owl again. That's for that tune. Oh. Hey, what I said again. No, go away, because you're annoying nope. the crap out of me. Nobody likes you, Mr. L. Go away. And now that I'm in the Lost Woods, I should be able to go not that way, apparently, but that will take me back to where I wanted to be anyway. Because I find this area a lot easier when I'm coming from Kakariko Forest. I don't know why, but I always do this, even though I don't have to. Nope. Oh, come on. This is so much harder with the gyro controls. You can switch it. Yeah, but it makes it... It makes it easier to some degree, but it's also harder. I guess. <laughs> Yay, there you go. You just have to be careful not to shift the 3DS when you do that. It's not hard, it's just harder. Uh, I I ran myself down to four seeds in that. <laughs> Apparently I can't aim. <laughs> and I already know the way. I actually have this place almost completely memorized. I've done this so many times. This is the only part that I can ever remember. Did I go straight here? Yeah. Straight and then to the left and then it's up. I just can never remember when to go straight. So, once I remember when to go straight, then I have the entire rest of the thing memorized. Yay, it's a wolf pose! Yep. It's that thing that Twilight Princess conveniently forgot existed so that they could throw in a wolf instead. Wait, what? <laughs> Twilight Princess, where you become a wolf and you fight like wolves, except yeah. their wolves don't exist, they're wolfos. Yeah. No, they were like wolf skeletons, though. Well, yeah, there was that too, but I mean, they didn't have wolfos. They had wolves instead of wolfos. Oh, right. Like, yeah, they actually did have wolves in the mountain, I remember. Yeah. They had wolves. I mean, you've played as a wolf, you know. It's like Twilight, like I said, Twilight Princess conveniently forgot that wolfos exist and instead added wolves to the mythology even though they've never been in the game before. Of well, course, they were probably doing them. the realistic portion, that's probably why. Well, yeah. I'm not here to slam Twilight Princess. I personally enjoyed it. It just seemed awkward that you were a wolf when wolves don't actually exist. They're wolf folks. <laughs> right. <sighs> the real question becomes, is it Os or is it just O? Like the Legend of Zelda cartoon from like ever ago called it a Stalfo. But, um, most people call it a Stalfos, you know? So, it, do you pronounce that S or not? Always was the question. I believe we had an answer to that when they were showcasing, uh, 
um, what is it? Uh, Skyward Sword. They had Reggie talking, and like he was showing off the uh, the Sky Temple demo that they had for Skyward Sword to somebody. And he's like, and here's the great Stalfos, or something like that. In which case, that was like, okay, so it's Os. Which, I mean, it makes sense. It's just different people pronounce it differently. You gotta remember, that cartoon was probably in America, so they didn't know how to pronounce it either. They just try their best. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was produced by Deke, which is an American company, so... There you go. But yeah, it, it was an American thing, and we all know that Americans trying to turn Japanese stuff into American movies is generally not a good thing. <laughs> so, I think the only time I've ever seen somebody do that, an American movie pull that off successfully, was in the new Godzilla movie that just came out this year. That was pretty amazing. Oh, here, here comes the annoying little thing. Again. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, oh, hey, you just learned this musical thing. Guess what? You can play your ocarina. Did you know you can play your ocarina? No, oh, really? You how to play I didn't know ocarina. that because I played for like the last two or three songs. It's like, why? Why? Don't question the game, Serene. Just, just let me do all the work. <laughs> You're just controlling me. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, why do I need the game to tell me that I can play the ocarina when I've played the ocarina like three times now? <laughs> uh, don't question game logic. Just let the game do whatever. The... Alright, All right, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, the, I'm uh, done being Link. The the owl is probably like everybody says. Navi's annoying. No, it's the owl. Oh jeez, really here we go. I never really found Navi, 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 Navi. I don't know, Navi to be that annoying the first time that I played the ocarina. It was always the owl. I just, I never liked the owl ever, because the owl just tells you information that you already know. He's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's the dancing scene in the 3D version! He doesn't dance any better. <laughs> and Link's like, okay now, and he actually does it way better in this game. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved this song, but this scene is just so awkward. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Why are you still frowning? <laughs> Don't you be smiling? Because he's Mr. Serious. Yeah, something like that. Yay! We got ourselves Goron bracelets. Now we can head off to the Dodongo's Cavern, which will be the next episode. We'll make our way there this episode, but next episode we'll actually traverse the Dodongo's Caverns. And one step closer to the spiritual stone of fire. Yep. I can never remember my way around here. <laughs> yeah, I got lost here last time I played. When I was trying to get out. Is it left or is it right? I think it's right because I have to go all the way up. Now, this place confuses the crap out of me. I can always get lost somewhere along the way. Oh well. We made it without too much difficulty. <laughs> that works. You know, one thing I do enjoy about this version over the N64 version is four buttons. Instead of just okay. the three C buttons, it has four buttons. And an ocarina button. 
So the ocarina doesn't take up a button. Technically, you have five buttons because of that. Just the ocarina is its own button. I wonder if Maj if the ocarina will still have its own button in Majora's Mask. Probably. Most likely. I don't, I don't see why they would get rid of that feature. Yeah. The Wind Waker had its own button in Wind Waker HD, so I don't see any reason why they change it now. I mean, heck, the freaking harp in Skyward Sword technically had its own button. Sort of. It's not like you could play the harp any other time than in a cutscene or something. So, eh, whatevs. Anyway, here we are, the Dodongo's Cavern. Um, this is probably a good spot to end our effort, uh, end episode three. Uh, episode four, we will begin traversing the Dodongo's Cavern and hopefully obtaining the, uh, the Spiritual Stone of Fire from the Gorons. Um, so yeah, if you've been enjoying the channel, please feel free to subscribe if you're new. Feel free to leave a rating and comment. And we'll see everybody in the next episode. Bye! Keep coming, pony on everybody.